Now that we've finished mocking up the manifolds, Connor can fully tighten them down before moving on to installing the turbo. Whilst Connor is installing the manifold, I can run all of the various water feed and return lines for the cooling system. Next we have to complete a process called clocking the turbo. This is where you orient the housings to maximise clearance for the various plumbing involved. Do you want to go see the fuel pump? Yeah, fuck it. So when it comes to modifying a car, one of the most overlooked things is your fuel pump. This already has an aftermarket fuel pump, but it's got like no markings on it whatsoever. So we're going to replace it and I do it. I bought a Walbro 450, um, they're not actually that expensive and a lot of people just completely forget about them like me, I, I kind of forgot about it until right at the last minute, but I have a Walbro 450, we're going to take this pump off, take all their really bad wiring off, uh, throw a new sock on it because that thing is tea bag central. it's literally a tea bag at this point, um, and then throw it back in, and I've seen Skylines make 750 horsepower on that pump. Yeah. Maybe in the future. <laughs> so Alex, what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Are you changing your fuel pump? I'm changing my fuel pump for more boost, you know lad. There you go, take that fuel pump. I don't want it. That's a good little trick. If you ever like have a bit of hose and you're struggling to get it on then you can literally just don't like set it on fire obviously but just give it some heat from a blowtorch or a lighter or your armpit a dragon or a dragon or your mum's breath and then what you do is you just heat it up you literally just give it a bit of a squeeze look how better much better that went on straight on no problems so we just get the jubilee clips whack that on stick it back on the rig so we got all the the new fuel pump on here it's, a, it's quite long it's longer than the other one, but I suppose this is a 450 and most of the time people put the 255 Walbros in here, so it's probably bigger. Um, but we got it in, we got the wiring done, it's just a couple of crimp connectors and some spade fittings. A little bit of hose, which that feeds the rail in front. We've got a little sock on, now we've just got to feed it back in. And you're pretty much good, your fuel pump's installed plug the connector back in. In our case we're going to relay it but that will be in a different video I'll explain what relaying is and stuff. Um, but yeah, that's, that's how you install fuel pump. It's that easy and everyone forgets about it. To be honest, this is probably the hardest bit of installing fuel pump. Oh, put the pump back in. Yeah. you got to get that face in the right way as well to get on those pipes. Where you are now, just look, just rotate it. No, you can't, it's shit in the way. Oh, fuck that sock up. It's gotta be over here, I think. Yeah, because it's gotta match up with those pipes, doesn't it? Yeah. There you go. So that's how you put a fuel pump in, it's back in the in the car now, back in the tank. So all that's left to do now is do the bolts up, put the feed and return hoses back on. Then we can put the battery on, turn the key and see if it primes. Yeah, it's gonna piss fuel all over the floor, but Fuck it. Fuel evaporates. Yeah, pretty quick as well. Yeah, evaporates even quicker if you set fire to it. All right, so we're finishing up now. We got a lot done today. We've got the turbo on and all the lines ran. I'm pretty sure you tightened up all the lines to me. Yeah, so we're tight, all tight on the lines. We've just got to run the drain down to the pan. 
But we're not going to do that yet because I'm getting the pan winged and baffled. So there's no point in running the drains. We'll just have to take it off again. Um, the intake manifold is on. We've got to get some Jubilee clips uh, and some bolts to block things off and route the pipes properly because we don't have the right Jubilee clips. Uh, what else did we do? Oh yeah, we did the fuel pump. That's in. Uh, it doesn't work, but we think it's because the ECU is not attached to it, and I'm pretty sure there's a fuel pump relay that's like part of the engine ECU loom kind of thing. But there is voltage at the pump connectors, it's just not telling it to prime, so I think that's a problem, but we'll figure that out next time when we put the power FC on and get that set up. Um, yeah, what else did we do? We just ran a whole bunch of pipes, tighten stuff down properly. It doesn't look like we did a lot, but it, we did actually do loads. Um, so the little things weren't it? Yeah, it's all the stupid little things that are difficult to film and you can't really see them so hard to get good angles on. We've still got to heat wrap the exhaust, uh, finish the, well we've got to make the downpipe for the uh, turbo because it doesn't have one right now, it's just straight open. But we're just going to cut and make some pipe that goes straight down onto the existing one. But we've got to kind of snake around the exhaust manifold. Uh, we've got, to, we're buying a 45 and a 90 for the in for the intake manifold into the throttle body. I'm pretty sure a 45 would do it, Connor's pretty sure a 90 would do it, so we're just gonna buy both and whoever wins has to buy the other person's seven up. Um, but yeah, next time we've got the cams to install as well. So we've still got plenty of stuff to do, but we are rattling through it. So thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button and uh, we'll see you in the next episode where I'm not gonna promise it, but we might start it. So it's one to stick around for. Thanks. Ha <laughs> ha.